Hey guys and welcome to another edition of the Cisco Practice Questions for CCNA. And today it's going to be all about iOS basics. So this will just sort of uh, run through some commands and just uh, general use of the interface. And uh, thanks for joining in with the video as well. I'll give a bit of a plug to a bit of a link I've got in the description, a really valuable resource uh, study guide. So uh, if you click through to that, um, you can buy that uh, Cisco study guide. Um, I'll get a commission as well. So uh, if you want to help yourself out and help me out, uh, that'd be amazing. Um, so highly recommend that resource, but I'll get into the video anyway. And uh, first question we've got is you are connected to your switch and you wish to remotely administer the Cisco router, which command would you use? So looking through these, I know which answer it is straight away. RDP is uh, looking more towards the Windows sort of environment. Connect, what are we connecting to? It doesn't make sense. Enable is another command. So the answer for this one is Telnet. And that quite simply is the protocol used between uh, the computer and, and the router to uh, communicate. Question 140, you are at the, a global configuration prompt and wish to configure a communication protocol for remote access to the router. Which command would you type? So we've got line VTY, line SSH, and also to line Telnet. So it's nothing to do with Telnet, nothing to do with SSH. So the answer for this one is line VTY04. And this is essentially the command you use to uh, configure the ports, uh, the telnet ports on the router so that you can remotely connect to the router. 141, what command would you use to navigate from previous exec mode to user exec mode? Well, to do this, um, enable is to get into pri privilege exec mode. So if we do the inverse of that, the answer would be A, disable. So enable when you log into the router first after the initial stages, you'll just have um, sort of, I guess, a, a greater than sign. Uh, enable will get you into privilege exec mode and disable will get you out of that. So it's just the inverse. 142, you wish to get help on which parameters, ex ex uh, which parameters exist on the ping command. How would you get a list of parameters? Help ping, ping, question mark, ping, ping question, question mark, ping. So a couple of question marks there. Very similar to Windows here. So whenever you want to find out more information about something, you type in a relevant command that uh, the database, I guess, understands. And then you put a bit of a space in between and then a question mark, which gives us the answer as B, ping with a, and the space and the question mark. So you get all the commands you can do with ping. Likewise, many others. 143, what is the command to move to prove exact mode? from user exec. So we've got enable, enable with a bit of a, call that noughts and crosses, and another enable and disable. So to move to prove exec mode from user exec mode. So to do this, um, I'll just I'll highlight here, you're in privilege exec mode when you have uh, that sign there. I can't think of what it's called. I'm gonna hash, the hash sign, that's right. Yeah, it took me a while. Um, so they're in all three of those and there's one that isn't so the answer there is enable so once you have the greater than sign there you can type in enable into the router or switch and then that will get you into privilege exec mode which you can make some more uh, administrative changes there 144 which of the following prompts represents global configuration mode so we've got uh, a couple of signs here and it's not this one, there's sort of nothing there, it's not C, so it's either global or config. I'll just know this and it's simply one to remember, it's B, router, config. So once it's got the config there with the hash sign, you're in the global configuration mode to make many, many changes. Hopefully not too, da too many dangerous changes. 145, what is the default router name if a name is not assigned to the router during initial configuration? I wrote learning question this one. Um, the uh, when I looked at looked over it, I thought it was uh, A, but the answer is C. It's simply called router. That's uh, basically what it's called once the uh, router is straight out of the box, if you like. 146. What command would you use to navigate to global configuration mode? Config terminal setup enable config terminal. So if we just have a look at the answers here, global configuration mode, you generally would need to be in privilege exec mode first. So that would automatically wipe out these two, uh, since that's just in uh, generic sort of user mode, not um, privilege exec mode. So it'd be one of these two. 
And to do that, it is n series d quad simply. That's just a, that's the answer for that one. 147. What types of actions can an administrator perform at this iOS prompt? Select two. So we've got the the user privilege exec mode uh, hash there, and we're on router one. Config if or if uh, generally means we're in a interface. That's basically what it stands for. So we've got show running config, disable the interface, show the iOS version, change the host name, assign an IP address. So if we show the iOS version, we can actually do that in this mode. You need to be sort of in user mode or the first mode once you log into the router and you go show version. So once you're configuring stuff, you generally can't get easy information like that. Um, and you can't do the show running config either because that's similar to also showing the iOS version since it's basically the same command. And we've got two there, disable the interface, change the host name, and I'll sign an IP address. Um, don't believe you can change the host name there. So that would leave the final two, disable the interface and assign the IP address. So disabling the interface, you can do shutdown. Uh, no shutdown would enable the interface. And assigning the IP address, you can um, type in basically IP address straight from the top and uh, also the subnet mask on the end and then those are some of the things you can do in that command area. You wish to run the initial configuration dialog, what command would you use? Install dialog setup init dialog or init dialog. Uh, this is just knowing it and the answer is C. Setup. And so that's what you typed out if you want to. So we'll look at the question. Yeah, so if you want to, I guess, sort of uh, rebuild the router, setup would be the command you would use to uh, go through that and orchestrate that. 149, wonder what conditions would the initial configuration dialog appear when there is no running uh, no running config, when there is no startup config, when you type in a dialog, when you type setup. It's not the bottom two, I can tell you that uh, just by knowing. <laughs> um, and all conditions with the initial configuration dialog appear. Essentially, uh, the running config is obviously what is running at the time, and the router will go off what the uh, startup config shows up. So the answer will be B, when there is no startup config, and I also forgot uh, one there, when you type in setup. Setup will go back to, I guess, before the initial configuration, because you are configuring it from scratch. So the answer is there, B and D. And the last one for today, we've got 150. You have connected a computer to the console port of a brand new router, brand spanker. What will the router display on the screen after it is powered on? So if we've been looking through, so we've got router, post errors, oh, there's no post errors. Uh, the option to enter initial configuration or router. So post errors, pretty unlikely since it's a brand new one, uh, router, that would assume that there is a config on there and brand spankers probably wouldn't have a config on there you'd have to do that yourself and router with the hash means it's in privilege exec mode so we haven't even thought about getting there if we can't even get to that screen so we've got c is the answer here the option to enter initial configuration and it makes sense really you once you sort of get something new you generally have to uh, configure it most of the time and that's just uh, the way it goes with Cisco so that's the end of the answer to that one and a big thank you for watching really appreciate you guys tuning in today I've got my website there just uh, onlinecomputercoaching.com if you want to check that out I've got plenty of other content on there a few Windows tutorials and that's also on my YouTube channel so um, yeah also I've got as I mentioned on top of the show uh, feel free to go through and check that resource out the uh, Cisco study guide the amazing resource to uh, get on top of the your CCNA studies and also get a commission if you decide to buy it. So I'd be forever thankful if you did that. It would be muchly appreciated. And uh, feel free to give the video a like, so share it around and subscribe as well. It would be awesome to keep the content popping out. And uh, feel free to check out my podcast as well. I've got those in iTunes. So I'll just talk about generic um, IT career stuff and I'll endeavour to um, just talk about a bit of everything IT related. So. That'd be awesome. Uh, thanks for tuning in again today, guys. Muchly appreciate it and have a great day.